So I've been on the hunt for a DuPont crimper for the past few months now. And I started out with a PA09 engine by engineer, and that's on the far left there. And it didn't work out as well as I wanted, and I'll tell you why in a minute here. But I went ahead and got the Hosan or Hosen P706, and that actually worked perfectly. But I'm kind of weird about my tools, and I like them to look really cool if I can find one. Or anyway, the engineer line is just really neat looking. I like the way it's designed and the way it looks and the presentation of it all. And, you know, ultimately it doesn't matter if the tool doesn't work, but I just like those. And so I was hoping to find uh, one of the engineer brand ones that can actually do DuPont crimpers. And being the tool nut that I am, I went ahead and got the PA24s which are in the middle there and these just came out i'd got them at adafruit for about 29 dollars plus shipping and i tested them out today and they actually work really well which i'll show here in a minute um, so the key to their success is that they have a rounded 1.8 millimeter um, crimp option whereas the PA09 by engineer does not. And you can actually do a kind of janky crimp on the PA09, but it's just not the same because you're using a non-rounded crimp option on there and a crimp slot, and it just doesn't give you the same kind of crimp on the outer jacket. And the jacket's the only part where you're going to have a problem with the PA09. The actual wire part does crimp, but if that's all you're crimping, then it's not going to hold in place very well. So here's the uh, Hosan or Hosen up close P706. All of these are made in Japan, and I specifically got them because of that, because I, I just love things that are made in Japan, and they're usually better quality. Most of the back here is Japanese. Here's the PA24, made in Japan. And like I said, it just looks really neat. I just like the design of it. Even the packaging is cool. Like, I was excited to get this thing in the mail just because I like Japanese packaging usually. It's usually really well done. This here, I'm not sure why they actually included this specifically on this item. It's an M3, and they also have like an M2 and a um, M2.6 bolt. But there's like a little bolt cutter and I maybe it's for like RC cars or or something you might typically use um, M3 bolts on but if anybody knows yeah, feel free to, to put that down in the comments I thought it was a strange choice that I'll probably never use but I guess it's nice to have it I mean why not yeah those grips are, are kind of neat looking so that's all the types of connectors it does on the back there well like I said I mostly just got them for DuPont here's the PA 09s up close made in Japan of course I just kept these because I might, may end up using them for another type of connectors but like I said they're just such a cool looking design I didn't want to send them back Yeah, I don't really plan on making this channel an unboxing channel, but I thought this might be a interesting thing to unpackage for you here, given the packaging is so nice. Here I am just taking the staple out. There's only one staple holding that in. Very thoughtful. Here it comes. There it is. Out slides the back. Very simple. And out pops the tool. So one interesting thing about these as opposed to the PA09 is the spring. It has a different spring mechanism. This is just one spring on the left of the handle there. 
whereas the PA09 has a spring in the middle. Has a really good action to it, very high quality feel. Not gritty or, or anything like that. Yeah, I'm just gonna crimp a DuPont wire for you. Here I'm stripping a 22 gauge wire. This is just one I had laying around. Pretty high quality wire. And this is a kit I'll show you at the end of it. It's a kit that has a bunch of uh, DuPont connectors and the plastic shrouds. So you just take one off the tab there, stick the wire in, get the jacket in there a little bit. Then we're going to use a 1.3 crimper slot there. And that gets the wire. I, I like to do the, the wire first. And then I like to take it to the 1.8 after that for the jacket. First you have to kind of straighten out the jacket. And then you take it to the 1.8 here. And this is the rounded one. This is what makes all the difference on the jacket. The PA09 does not have this. The Hosen does. And actually the hose, this is really comparable to the Hosen P706. Yeah, it's a great crimp and it, it works well. Highly recommend this one. This is just one that I did with the, the Hosan or Hosen. And it's equally as good. These are really comparable, but honestly for the money, since the engineer is just a little bit cheaper, I probably would get that if I had to choose again. But I don't mind having more than one type of tool especially high quality ones like these. Here's the PA09 up close and uh, I'm going to take it out of the package here for you. And just kind of try to show you the um, what I was talking about earlier. It just doesn't have the totally round crimp slots on there. It's got sort of like an M, which the PA24 actually has that too, but it has the round too, which is what you need. Here's the kit I got. I got it on Amazon. It has just a ton of connectors on there, and they're all DuPont. Um, it has the male and female uh, bear DuPont connectors. Yeah, I highly recommend this kit, though. It's only like 10 bucks. Um, that's about it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and do subscribe. Thank you.